But in the end, don't you think that a, a judge is going to look at this on the merits of it being an antitrust case and say to themselves, OK, are these people employees of the PGA? Are these people employees of LIV? Are they contractors? If they're contractors, they should be able to maybe move between them. What kind of controls can a league have over contracted employees? And what kind of monopolistic uh, practices uh, may they control an entire industry? Isn't that, I mean, and I'm not here to defend LIV at all. I'm just looking at this strictly uh, on the, the antitrust merits, not all of the other noise uh, that we're hearing uh, that, by the way, makes a lot of sense to me, the other noise. But nonetheless, I think that a judge looks at this very narrowly. Uh, I agree. All the points that you raised are what a, a federal district court judge would have to examine in terms of the elements of a federal antitrust claim. There are also. And California. so, where do you come out on that? Uh, I think at the end of the day, the PGA Tour, uh, its defenses probably are going to prevail. It's going to be a long uh, road to hoe. There's going to be a lot of discovery, a lot of things. Most of these cases are typically proved by expert testimony, so you're going to have a right, battle but, of Gerald, experts. Well, but just explain that, Gerald, explain this. And we were talking about Uber and Lyft earlier this morning. Both of those use contracted employees. They've made a, a point of not uh, making those people actual technical employees. And that's one of the reasons that Uber can't tell a Lyft driver that you can't drive for Lyft. Right. Uh, in an antitrust con context, the fact that someone's an employee or an independent contractor will not drive the analysis. It's very different than an Uber situation where you're talking about uh, wages for an employee or uh, an independent contractor. Here, it's a little different where you're talking about the market for services, be that person, an employee of some tour or an independent contractor who has options to play in various places. And so the expert witnesses are gonna focus on defining the market, just what that is going to focus on the PGA's internal rules and whether or not it has uh, any uh, antitrust injury to these particular players, and then the options these players have in terms of the market for their services. So it will be a complex uh, inquiry made by the judge. It's going to take time. And so this is going to play out in the litigation probably over the next 18 to 36 months. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.